folks. Hallelujah, Chris Blanche Brown. Thank you. Thank you. Karen Tolhurst, Rex Go, Pia Head, Lloyd G, The Killer, and Mr. Nick Meredith on the guitar, and I'm Russell Crowe. Thanks for coming. Yeah, and thanks to Jen and Richard for having us, all the bar staff, the lighting, the sound, Chris, the videos, just everyone. Thanks for coming out on a Monday night, hey. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Now, Rhonda, did you want to say a quick word about Chris? Rhonda played with Chris many, many times and at the Spasm Band and, uh, uh, you know, was part of the scene there with Greg Quill who started uh, The Shack in the 60s and apparently Greg used to uh, play, write all the songs, make the coffee and clean up after everyone had gone, <laughs> which is dedication to uh, having a gig, huh? And Rhonda just wanted to say a quick word about Chris. It was wonderful to have Chris in the band. He started off doing drug band music in the 60s, um, played in England and then came out to Australia and, and played in the Stovepipe Spasm Band, which we sort of revived again in about oh, 20 years ago or something. And then Chris joined us again after, after Alan Meadows went down, mandolin player went down to Tasmania. And Chris came and joined us. And it was really, really great to have his harmonica playing again on and uh, and he's singing and uh, yeah it was uh, it was one I mean he was he was a you know, eccentric wonderful lovable painful sometimes but lover <laughs> <laughs> but absolutely lovable guy and we really miss him and I just you know I just can't believe I'm not I won't be sort of having these long text messages from him again and uh, which went on forever and uh, hearing his voice again so uh, oh, it was really a wonderful night and thanks to all the musicians and I. And um, yeah, great tribute to Chris. Thank you. Thank you. May I just say a few words? Um, when, I, when I came up from Melbourne to join Country Radio, I pretended that I could play mandolin. <laughs> and, and I borrowed a friend's mandolin, and the, the roadie they picked up in Tasmania, Cedric, drove me up to Sydney in the back of the, the van. So I, I had to pretend that I could figure out to play mandolin on the way up. So by the time I got there, they'd get me in the band, right? So I borrowed a friend's mandolin, mucked around with it and came up with a few chords and a few little changes and stuff. And I got there and did the audition, played a bit of steel guitar for them, played a bit of guitar and they were impressed. So then I played them this mandolin bit that I had, which is the only thing I could play really. And uh, Greg thought it sounded good, and he came back the next day with lyrics, and it became Gypsy Queen. And, 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 and through the generosity of, of, of our dear friend Chris, he had a beautiful guitar collection and, and vintage. He was he turned my 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 interest into in, in, into vintage guitars from then on, which has been a lifelong interest of mine. But he had a great collection at that time that not many people had. And he gave me access to his, his wonderful collection of mandolin and dobron and the lap steel that I've been playing tonight was his that he loaned me in country radio, which I played on the records and live for a couple of years. And, and to his credit, he never made me feel obliged, you know, that, or guilty that I was you know, using his instruments. He never had any, any, any grudge against that and, and he encouraged it. And, and I, I thank him and bless him for that. And it set me on a lifetime of playing and inspiration that he, he probably engendered from the beginning. So here's to Chris. Thank you. 